practice another Sunday school with Mrs. Abaro. Today is the seventh Sunday of Easter. In today's gospel, Jesus prays for his disciples and for all who believe in him. Let us take the gospel reading now from John chapter 17, verses 20 to 26. Are we ready? All right. My prayer is not for them alone. Who is saying this? Jesus. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. Jesus talking about unity here, oneness. I in them and you in me. May they be brought to complete unity. Unity again, oneness. To let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. From verse 24. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you and the Know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this is Jesus' prayer, concern for his disciples, recorded in John chapter 17, verses 20 to 26. Now, children, today's gospel comes as the as a conclusion, you know, end of Jesus' farewell speech or spell, farewell discourse to his disciples at the Last Supper, okay, before his death. Jesus made a special prayer, not just for his disciples or those gathered around him, but for all, all of us, okay? Now, what did he pray for? Were you listening? Did you read along? Now, Jesus prayed for those who would believe in him through the message of his disciples. That's how he started from verse 20. He said that his prayer is not just for his disciples alone, but for all who will believe in him through the message that the disciples will preach to them. So he was praying to us all in advance. Okay. Now, children, the Father, God the Father, okay, um, God the Father Almighty in heaven, gave Jesus his son the word, okay, and then um, the disciples received this word from Jesus. Are we together? Yes, okay. They received the word from Jesus and letter through the Spirit. Now, the disciples in turn passed this to us through what they wrote down in the Bible, in the scriptures. And that is how we all in turn have received the word of God. You see that passage? Yes, you see the process? Yes, God the Father sent his son, gave him the word, and he passed it on to the disciples through the Spirit. And then they in and wrote these things down in the scriptures and we are all hearers of God's word and that's why Jesus said that um, his prayer is not only for the disciples who were around him but for all those who will believe in the message that the disciples will preach that's the message um, that will get to us through his um, word through the bible through the words written by his disciples and so you see Jesus prayed for us to be drawn into the um, life with God, into life with him, his father. Okay. Jesus prayed for all of us, most importantly, to be one, to be one with each other, to be one with him, to be one with the father, with the Lord God almighty. Jesus wants us to be one just as he and his father are one and are united. Now, children, is it easy to be one, to live in harmony? It's not. Oneness and unity is about love. And Jesus knows that it can be tough to live in love at all times. Yes, you know, within the family or church or community, there can be disagreements, right? Yes, people getting into each other's nerves uh, on issues they do not agree with, just like you fight with your brother or your sister, right? Some of you, yes, I know that it happens in homes where the younger sibling will not agree with the older one. Like, no, he took my thing without permission. This doesn't belong to him. He shouldn't get this. Oh, he's supposed to help out. He's not helping. You know, all that disagreement. Jesus knows that these things will happen. And so he prayed for all of us to be one, to be united in love. Okay, children? Yes. 
And Jesus knows all this, and that was why he prayed for us. In advance, he expressed his concern by praying for all his disciples and everyone who will receive the word. We all fall into this category because we have received the word written down by the disciples, by the apostles. And so Jesus prayed that our unity may prove God's love, okay, to the world. You know, for the world to see that God loves us and that we are showing God's love to people around. If we love ourselves as children of God, as Jesus's friends, the world will see and know that, ah, indeed, these ones are Jesus's followers, okay? If we love as God has called us to love, they will come to know God through us, okay, children? Yes, they will come to know Christ through us because they are seeing Jesus's love, they are seeing his unity in us. So we are called to live in the world, but not to be of the world, okay? Yes, for the world to see God's love in us. We are not to behave like the world does, okay? If people around you use swear words and um, fight, bully, steal, we are not to behave like this, okay? We are supposed to behave like God's children, Jesus's friends. God's friends will not do these things. Even when we um, maybe insult people, sometimes when we get upset, we should be quick to apologizing. We should be quick to turning away from that and doing the right things, okay? Because we have Jesus as our friend, because we wouldn't want to hurt Jesus, because we wouldn't want Jesus to be disappointed in us, okay, children? That's what Jesus is saying. Yes, um, we are in the world, but um, we, we are different. We are separate from how the world does their things, okay? We, we are supposed to be different. Our light is supposed to shine. And so Jesus wants our love to be seen by everyone. He wants the world to see the love we have, the unity we, we share among us, so that they in turn will come to know him. But if you're doing the right thing, people will come to, wow, this child is so good. They may want to get close to you, and then your goodness will rub off on people around you, and they will start doing good things. That's what Jesus wants. And so you see, that was why Jesus was praying for us specifically, okay, so that we'll be different from the world, so that we will live by his standard, so that we will live by his ways, and the world will come to see us as Jesus's friends, and then come to know Jesus and walk with Jesus. You see, Jesus really... um. Um, wanted us to be close to him and his father. That was why he took time to pray for his disciples and for every one of us. Okay, what have we learned from today's gospel? Now we've learned to live in unity. Yes, Jesus takes this very, very importantly. Yes, we are all different. We are wonderfully made, but God is calling us that even in our differences, we should be united in purpose. We should be united in him. Okay, children? Yes. Jesus wants us to love as he loved. Okay, as he loves, he wants us to love that same way. Okay, love is gentle, love is kind, love is patience. That's what the Bible says. So Jesus wants us to share his love with each other, with one another, because Jesus loves us and he wants us to love everyone same way he has loved us. Let the world know you are the friend of Jesus, okay? The way you live your life, the way you do things in school, um, uh, um, in church, a playground, wherever you are. People should know that you have Jesus as your friend because when you are Jesus' friend, you do not bully you do not use swear words. You do not um, disobey elders. You you are respectful, okay? You love, okay? You keep boundaries and all that, all right? Yes, even when we make mistakes, we are quick to apologize and turning away from it. This shows that you are a friend of Jesus. Okay, let us take a memory verse. A memory verse will be taken from John 17, verse 21. And it says that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you. Let us pray. Dear Father, help us to be one with you and all the people of God through your Son, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We come to the end of today's Sunday School. Jesus loves you and he cares for you. Till next Sunday, it is bye from Mrs. Saboros. Stay blessed.